Has Hexagon and Cadworks lost their way? Uh, it sure seems that way. We'll get into it in this video. So this video here is not my normal uh, tutorial videos on how to teach you how to do stuff uh, with inside of CADWorks or AutoCAD Plan 3D or Navisworks or Recap or whatever. This one's going to be a more of a diatribe. Uh, I've done these in the past and for whatever reason. And this time I've come to a big frustration with inside of um, the, the CAD world and mainly this being CAD works. Uh, I'm a huge proponent of CAD works have been for many, many years, cut my teeth on designing with it. Uh, cut my teeth on being the CAD administration, uh, CAD administrator for, um, you know, uh, CAD works. I knew how to do things. Uh, thought it was a very stable platform. It was originally designed by piping designers. Uh, then when Hexagon bought them, um, they brought in some some much needed uh, coding uh, ability, made the code streamline it. It worked better. Uh, Spec Editor is far superior than, let's say, <clears throat> Plan 3D. Um, Plan 3D spec editor is is horrible in my opinion. Um, and again, it's just my opinion. But they have lost their way on the design side of things since 2022, since the release of 2022. Um, it has been just one big bug problem after another. Uh, the last stable version was... 2020 R2. Uh, and then when they went to 2022 and they redesigned the UI, uh, which I understand you've got to make changes. Uh, they did this several years ago. They took away the tool palettes or they didn't. They just hit them. Uh, the tool palettes were still there, but they, you know, they didn't come on by default. Everything was in the ribbon. Um, and the the UI was looking a little old. It was and it needed to be refreshed for Windows 11, and so they had to do a lot of different uh, behind the scenes. The problem is they broke a lot of stuff, and uh, you know, and it got a little bit better in 23, and it got a little bit better in 24, but there's still problems in those. And um, in, in 22, let's go over the problems on that one when it was released. You could not change fittings from fabrication to erection. You would click on the erection button and it would change. And then when you close out of configure uh, uh, component edit, it would change it back to fabrication uh, or it wouldn't let you click on it at all. I can't remember. One of them wouldn't even let you make the change um, on some of these bugs. Another bug was you couldn't change the tag information inside of, um, you know, a component, which is very important when you're placing, you know, control valves, you need to have that tag in there. Uh, and if you got generic t valves in your spec and you let the designers put them in there, you should be able to change the tag. It wouldn't do it. There was problems with some of the isogen um, items inside of CADWorks. And it wouldn't let you modify that. They sent out a bug fix or a hot fix or service pack one and it didn't get any better. It didn't get, you know, didn't get fixed. Uh, ISOs wouldn't drop in the right order with a stop sign or a start sign. Um, and it just was one problem after another. 23 didn't get much better. Um, oh, going back to 22 real quick. 22 lost 
a lot of the icons, a lot of the commands inside the ribbon. And unless you knew they were there, you know, or what to type in to get them to work, you didn't, you didn't have access to them. Generic nozzle attach. One of the staples for years and years, being able to put a nozzle in there for equipment that's not there. So that way you can just use a dumb shape in your, your, your model, your equipment model, but it doesn't have to be attached. It doesn't have to have intelligence with it. It could just be a shape. They got rid of that button. The command was there, but the button was missing. Uh, there was a whole bunch of other buttons that were missing and commands that you used on a routine basis. And you had to know what that command was by typing it in. Um, not think So that tells me they weren't even thinking about their customers. Uh, they're thinking about the designers, you know, and how they use this. You had a UI guy that just went, yeah, we're going to streamline this and, and make the buttons different. Um, the setup, the config file, um, you know, they got rid of the command to be able to do save and close or apply and close. And that, you know, now you could, you could click a little radio button down at the bottom and say, hey, just for this one time. But most people were not reading that and they were just making a change, hitting save, and then closing it out. It didn't even close it. You just hit save. You had to manually hit exit for it to close. Now they have fixed that in 24. Uh, I have confirmed they had fixed that and they put the apply and close and the save and close back into the uh, config uh, setup. Uh, 23 had all kinds of problems with continuations. Uh, continuations would not work in 23 for a while when you went from line number to line number. Now, when you went from sheet to sheet, you were fine. But when you went from line number to line number, it wouldn't work. Then they sent out a, a hot fix, a, a service pack, that fixed the continuations mostly. We are still having problems with that when it's a flange to flange connection. If it's a socket weld, if it's a threaded connection that goes from line number to line number, works fine. But in 23, when you have a, a flange to flange connection, depending on how the bolts and gaskets are associated with what line number, the continuations will not work. Now, this is a pretty easy fix, okay? Except for when you're trying, you have a, let's say you have a T with a valve coming directly off the, the T. So you have a T, a flange, and a valve. Well, you typically want your bolts and gaskets to be associated with your valve. Well, if you have that as another line number, it wouldn't work. You had to associate it with the bottom T with the main, the, the, the run line. And so we would drop ISOs like that and the checkers would go, well, it's not associated with the valve. You need to fix it. And in one video I have coming up, I couldn't even drop an ISO. It would not drop. It just aired out every single time. I tried changing the config file. I tried modifying the ISO style. I tried doing it manually. I tried doing one. It would just air out. ISOGen aired out every single time. And it wasn't just on my computer. I have had the same problem with computers for other designers and no one can give me a clear, straight answer of why that is issue like that. I contact Hexagon. They go basically, well, we've tried it. It works on our side. Well, okay, but it doesn't work on my side. Let's get on my computer and figure out why. Well, have you tried this? Have you tried that? Have you tried creating a new config file? Yes, done that. Have you tried just doing an isogen out? Yes, done that. 
you know, the, their their support is always like, well, have you tried the basic stuff that we're going to tell you to do when we get on a call? And then when we flag stuff, we find bugs, they go, well, we'll fix it in the next revision. I mean, I love CADWorks. I've loved it. It's easy to use. It's easy to deploy. There's a lot less admin side of things that you've got to maintain than Plan 3D. But over the last three revisions, 22, 23, 24, I have come to really disdain CADWorks. It's just one big headache after another. And I hope they fix this. I hope they see this video and, and, and do the repairs and fix the system. I mean, we're halfway through 2025. They've got 24 out there. They haven't even sent a service pack on it yet. And until there's a service pack, I can't tell my designers to start using it. I can't make them start using it. And it just, again, I hope they listen to this video. I hope they watch this video. Please let me know if I'm wrong. What are your problems? What are your issues with the CADWorks? I want to hear. I want to know. Put it down in the comments. If we start screaming enough at CADWorks or at Hexagon, maybe they'll fix it. Maybe they will spend the time and the effort to fix the problems before they send out another crappy version of 2025 in September or October, whenever it drops. And, you know, we have to go through this all over again. So, Please let me know what you think. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. You know, uh, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Um, and and please voice your opinions. Put it put it on the comments. Maybe they'll see it. Maybe they'll read it. Maybe they'll you know listen to us. Maybe they'll reach out and say, okay, hey, what is the problem? So, okay, that's the end of this diatribe. Um, uh, please like, share, and subscribe, and until next time.